Good morning, everybody. Uh, good afternoon. Good evening, uh, depending on wherever uh, you are listening or where you're viewing from. Uh, concerning in um, the Kano's case, uh, the Abia court uh, resumes hearing on indigenous people of Biafra IPOB leaders' uh, suits against uh, the federal government. Umaya, uh, the capital of uh, Abia State, uh, this morning witnessed the heavy deployment of security operatives. The operatives were deployed by the leadership of the Abia State Air Police Command as the hearing of Namdekano resumes. Yes, uh, the IPOB uh, leader is challenging the federal government's uh, decision to repatriate him from East African country, uh, Kenya. Uh, there was a heavy security around uh, the premises of the Abia State uh, in Humaya. I caught uh, uh, on Friday uh, morning, December 10, as the uh, hearing resumed. On the suit filed by the leader of the indigenous uh, people of Biafra, IPOP. Now, the Kano against the federal government, uh, Kano had uh, through his counsel, Aloy Ejimako, filed a five billion era suit against uh, his uh, repatriation from Kenya um, while contesting uh, the legality of his prosecution uh, through the uh, federal government. Yes, uh, the IPOP indigenous people of Biafra leader, among other things, demanded that the court should declare his trial illegal and that. Uh, he uh, taken back uh, to Kenya from where he was uh, repatriated or rather uh, been kidnapped. The can also demanded that the Nigerian Army, uh, Nigerian Police Force, and the Department of State uh, Services uh, be stopped from uh, harassing or arresting uh, Namdekano and his entourage. Uh, Vanguard newspaper uh, reports that due to the trial, uh, the Ikof uh, uh, Penel Road uh, leading to the Ikof uh, premises was uh, condoned off by heavily armed police personnel at different points. According to the report, uh, the stand looking security agents uh, were diverting uh, traffic flow to adjoining uh, streets. Uh, definitely, the report noted that uh, visitors, uh, staffs, and uh, vehicles assessing the court premises uh, were thoroughly screened uh, before they were allowed uh, passage into uh, the premises. Uh, Igbo leaders uh, meet uh, Buari, uh, in Asorok also over uh, Namdekano's uh, uh, case, uh, which uh, has really, really, you know, taken a turn around. Uh, since when uh, Namdekano was being arrested, mm, so many things had unveiled. Uh, and also earlier reported that notable leaders uh, from the southeast uh, geopolitical zones in Friday or on Friday rather, uh, which is, uh, was November 19th, uh, met with uh, President Muhammad Buhari at the uh, presidential village. Uh, okay, sorry, uh, villa, uh, because I call it presiden uh, presidential village uh, because uh, there is nothing you know tangible. Nigerians are gaining from that. You know, they only call it Asura, Asura, and nothing has been happening. Uh, well, the leaders uh, were led by elder statesmen. Uh, Mbazilike Amechi and the former governor of Anambra State, uh, Dr. Chukwemeka Ezeife. As it is, uh, Namdekano's trial uh, was uh, adjourned uh, on Friday and definitely uh, due uh, to, you know, uh, illegality mm, in the aspect or uh, in the confine of the government because they have no uh, evidence whatsoever uh, for alleging or indicting Namdekano and also for, you know, uh, violating human rights as part, you know, in kidnapping Namdekano all the way uh, from Kenya down to Nigeria. So many atrocities have been committed, you know, and marginalization, uh, which the Igbos uh, are, are really, you know, looking, uh, uh, looking up or looking forward uh, to ICC or international community uh, to come to their rescue because uh, it has been said that uh, the Igbos or the Southerners of Nigeria, uh, Nigeria rather, have been marginalized for a longer time, and that is why uh, Namdekano and Sunday Igbo the council party are seeking for a referendum. Uh, in other words, uh, there should be division uh, when there is no referendum or uh, when there is no good governance, and those are the things uh, uh, these two uh, guys are trying, you know, uh, to let the whole world know or international organization. And the federal government, led by uh, President Muhammad Buhari, wouldn't want that to happen. Just because his kinsmen are, are eating crunches uh, from the table. Yes, and so many, you know, uh, indictments and so many uh, problems, you know, back and forth as bestowed upon uh, the Igbos. Uh, the same faith why the leaders were led by elder statesman Basilike Amechi, you know, and the former governor of Anambra, Dr. Chukwemeka, is a faith to worry, you know, to beg on uh, Nambikano's behalf. Also, in the uh, delegation to Asa Rock were Bishop Onwa, uh, Mr. Tagbo Amechi, and Chief Godi uh, Wazurike. Uh, Bianca Ojuku begs uh, Buari also to release uh, Kano, 
I don't know why. Uh, I don't know if uh, the kind of uh, apology uh, that he needs is worth. Uh, I've not really, you know, gotten to him. So, if notable people and elites or elites or elite, uh, depending on how you want to call it, have been begging and also, you know, clamoring uh, for good governance and also, you know, for the release of Sunday Igbo and also Namdekano, I believe uh, uh, Buhari shouldn't, you know, you know, say no. Uh, because we all know uh, we need peace in the country and they uh the fulani they are the ones preaching one nigeria uh, with all this uh, apology or with all this uh you know not being for them to release that means uh, if uh, Buhari does not you know he to just cry uh, uh, we are not one nigeria still uh, because i believe because the nepotism and uh, the generalization generalization of marginalization uh, which is embedded uh, so the international community also know. So the power of incumbency is what uh, they are, you know, uh, uh, using or they are hiding under, uh, just because they will say immunity covers uh, them. Well, in the faith of Mrs. Ojuku, uh, who he has also begged to uh, so release an Americano, and Mrs. Ojuku made a plea while speaking at the Friends uh, Memorial Anniversary of a late husband and Igbo leader uh, Chuku Emeka Odumegu Ojuku uh, organized in you know, Oweria, the Imo State Capital on Friday, uh, November 26. Mm, she urged the president to consider the plea uh, made by the Igbo leaders uh, during their recent visit to the state house Abuja, uh, asking for Kano's release. And I believe with all these uh, uh, atrocities or rather uh, the uh, crime and violation of rights uh, the government has committed and bestowed upon uh, Namdekanu, especially because uh, he is uh, the spokesperson uh, to the Biafra and also the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. I would say if uh, Buhari will heed and gives condition, uh, he has been given conditions that okay, if Namdekanu is to be released, then definitely he's going to you know withdraw all his statements or rather uh, the so-called agitation you know uh, will be uh, stopped well i don't know uh, if uh, agitating for a separate state is a crime uh, but notwithstanding to stop agitation is not even a problem because agitation has already uh, stopped uh, earlier on before namikano uh, was uh, repatriated or rather kidnapped uh, because these guys have really you know done so well i have really you know propagated the gospel of a uh, uh, bad administration you know method on the people and i would say if uh, uh, the federal governments uh, can really do me fit and also do the needful and uh, positively i believe this country will be a better place for everyone uh, to live in uh, because the level of uh, economy uh, jeopardy, uh, jeopardy is just what uh, is so so appalling yes i'm sorry a uh, level of the economic jeopardy like i said is appalling and uh, the bankruptcy in nigeria is facing right away and right now is what is not even palatable to the nation. Nigeria does not belong to only per, only one person. Nigeria does not belong to Buhari. Neither do Nigeria belongs to Abasanjo. Neither do Nigeria belongs to uh, Tinumbu. And Nigeria belongs to all, all and sundry. Nigeria does not belong to Dangote. Nigeria does not belong to Arthur Dola. And meanwhile, Nigeria does not belong to Tony or Elumelu and Rada. Nigeria does not belong to any ethnic group, either Igbo, Arusa or Yoruba. But what I believe is that if we are, you know, saying we are one Nigeria, we should work hand in hand. Yeah, you, we, you that committed crime, no matter we, we, what region you're from, uh, you need to face the wrath of the law and court lays verdict. Not that because I'm ego, uh, the uh, chief judge is an ego. Uh, so let's sweep it under the carpet. That's a problem. But notwithstanding, this is what I'm going to draw the curtain. I'd like you to share your views in the comment section. Thanks for listening.